Okay, a little further on, the three parts of the module that I'm building for the Amtrak group. And now the woodwork is mostly done. There's an end section where the track goes on the top here. Inside I'll be adding wiring. And the double track main goes down here. And on this end, there's a connection to the next module. I think I'll be having a road going under a bridge here as part of the connection here. I need to clean this up a little bit. But that's uh, one, one section. Then there's the middle section, which is fairly uninteresting. It's just a flat area with tracks for the, uh, the, main, the main yard. And the other end section of the three. Uh, there's a bit of a larger opening here. I'm thinking of having a canal going under a bridge here. Sort of uh, grassy slopes and canal side, some trees and things like that. A canal going here with the tracks going across the top. Something like that. So, most of the woodwork's now done. I can start uh, thinking about uh, doing some of the. Uh, I may, uh, I may want to paint them first, where there's a requirement to have uh, matte black on the outside because uh, then you'll be adding the, um, the, the tape, the uh, glitter bond, uh, what's that in English, I can't remember, the hooks, the hooks uh, tape. We've got to add uh, sections of uh, tape to the bottom of the module where there'll be, the club has black curtain and you'll be adding a black curtain on the outside where uh, the module faces the public and then the module will be painted f flat or matte, matte black and uh, probably a good idea to uh, primer most of the woodwork just to avoid splinters and things like that so oh, fun job okay the modules more or less woodwork complete of course, uh, the module's uh, next step is the module needs uh, need some legs to stand on. And those legs need to be able to come off and for transportation. And also they need to be adjustable in height because of uneven floors at uh, exhibitions and wherever events are. I was at a Amtrak day the other day and uh, they gave me some tips on, um, on how to uh, to do the legs. Uh, originally I thought I'd have a leg and I'd have one of those screw things underneath to adjust uh, the height. They said that that's, uh, it's a lot easier if you do it from the upper level then you can just stand the leg on the, uh, on the ground and, and move it up and down. And so you make a simple uh, chock like, like this which has got uh, the bolt through it, glued in place, sunk and some wood that basically allows the leg to glide up and down on the module. So that's the way uh, to do it, it seems. At least that's what I've learned from them. So, and I, not to uh, uh, worried about cosmetics. I had a couple of older uh, pieces of wood lying around so I decided to use them first. They're a little bit wider so I just had to make a little bit of a wider chock. So this is the, the leg with the cut out area to allow the bolt to move up and down. You, so you slide the leg in like that. It's adjustable in height up and down. It will be if I just sand the, the top of this leg off a little bit. Just make it a little smoother. So it's, it's going up and down. So. so that's one leg approximately in the mid position. And so we use a ring and instead of a, uh, a nut, we use a butterfly nut. Butterfly nut. 
which makes easier life a little easier. So this is the last leg to go in. Just slide it in and got them approximately in the middle position. Add the butterfly, the butterfly nut, tighten it up. Voila! Four legs on the module. So for the first time ever, it's ready to stand. Of course the legs, being a modular layout, the legs are not huge because uh, the modules, once they're attached to each other, they uh, gain stability. Looks like I've got a bit of a but that's what the adjustable legs are for, so we'll see how that goes. It should be at about uh, the height of one meter, uh, one meter twenty. Working height of the module layout. Yep, around uh, one nineteen and a half. Uh, what you do at a show is, um, I believe, start checking uh, whether you're uh, straight up and down. Okay, this uh, this uh, side should be a little bit higher. And just uh, bubble in the middle. Bubble in the middle. Bubble in the middle. Job done. Ah, very pleased with that. The last thing I need to do according to the regulations is paint at least the bottom half of the leg of all the legs black because of uh, the black curtain not always reaching to the floor the uh, the legs won't stick out as a sore thumb so you need to paint the uh, the bottom half of the legs black. But now it's uh, basically ready to have the uh, Foam put on. Two layers of foam. Okay, mid, mid, middle module nearly done. Just got to do some more, uh, some more wiring work. I'll explain the. Uh, in the next video I'll explain uh, the wiring. I need to do another one of these bus, there's a bus wire for each direction of the main. I'll explain that in the next video.